For this creation, you'll want to start off with your melted white chocolate. I've added in vegetable oil. Technically, this is olive oil, but I do recommend vegetable oil because it's just paler in color and won't tint your chocolate yellow. Add in your gel food color and stir it through and then pop your chocolate into a piping bag and create stars on a baking sheet. This is baking paper that I've used as like a non-stick base to pipe my chocolate on. Make some small ones, some very large ones to go right on the top and then do the same with a different color. I used green and red gel food color for this project. Once all your stars have been piped, pop it into the freezer to set for a good 15 minutes. I've already got my cake stacked and filled. I've just crumb coated it with some dark chocolate ganache frosting, popped it into the fridge to set for 20 minutes, and then I'll apply my decorative layer. This is buttercream that I'm using. I'll be sure to have the recipe listed in the description box of this video. I've done two rows of white, one row of red, two rows of white, one row of green, and then repeating again with the red. Cover the top as well with a little bit of that white frosting and then use your spatula to help flatten it out and push it out to the sides to meet with that last row of piped buttercream. You can then take a frosting scraper, go around your cake a few times just to flatten out and move that buttercream around. And then when it's nice and smooth, you can take a large spatula and swipe it upwards in a straight line from the base of your cake all the way up to the top. I had a hot spatula here and I tried three different methods, popping it into the water. I've tried wiping off the excess into a tissue as you see there. And I also tried using a second spatula to scrape off any frosting left over on the spatula. I found that the third option was actually the cleanest and produced the best results with the swipes always looking more or less the same to the previous one. So you see there a tiny spatula just scraping off the excess that seemed to work the best. Work your way all around the cake and then take your larger spatula and swipe it from the outside of the cake towards the center of the cake just to remove that top lip. While the frosting is still nice and soft, I'm taking my now set chocolate and making sure that two of the arms are in contact with the frosting at all times. So basically, just make sure that your stars are standing upwards with one point leading up. Go around the side of the cake and the top. And that's it, your star studded buttercream cake is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this cake design and if you do recreate it, I would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Feel free to subscribe for more cake decorating tutorials and we'll catch you again in the next one.